Why walk out on me so quickly? Like I wasn't talking to you. Where have you been? Just, just leave me alone. I'm really very tired now. Please. You're tired? What were you up to that you're tired? I called your phone all through today and you didn't pick up my calls. Neither did you tell me where you were going. Oh, did you? Ah. Do you now call me by my name? King Godera. <laughs> are you having an affair? What are you talking about? Where have you been? Please, I really don't have time for this. Just leave me alone. First, you call me by my name. And then you ask me to leave you alone. What's going on? Oh, God. My queen, please. Just, for now, leave me alone. There's a whole lot. There's a whole lot going on. Just let me be. I will not let you bring in that lady into this palace. Have that in mind. Now I am very certain that the king is having an affair with that lady he mentioned last night. My queen, we can't be too sure since we don't have any evidence. What more evidence do we want other than what we already have? The king went with Malu to see that lady because he knows that Malu would keep his secret. My queen, I don't really know what to say. But please, you have to calm down. Till we confirm that the king is really having an affair. But my queen, what if the king is trying to find a solution to this problem? Finding a solution to the problem indeed by being in the arms of another lady. I just need to be alone right now. As my queen wishes. Your Majesty, but it was just a dream. Mm. Of course, it was just a dream. 
She knows she cannot kill me physically. She knows. Now, where is that brat? Find him and lock him up. Who, my king? Prince Ebubay. My king! You dare raise your voice at me? Uh, I, I'm sorry, my king. I beg for your forgiveness. Do not forget your position, madam. Do not forget where you belong. Do not prick me, or else I will marry you. Or else I will ridicule you. I will so cripple you. And I. Find him and lock him up. As your majesty pleases. Come on, 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 come You think so, Mom? You think so? Do I look like a fool to you and my father? Mom, what have you done this time? And why am I involved in it? Ebube, I didn't do anything. Neither did you. It's just that we're in a complicated situation. Complicated situation, Mom? You just called it a complicated situation. You think I don't know? You think I don't know it because of your witchcraft? Yes! What? Yes, Mom! Dad said so. And I've also seen people in my dreams trying to kill me. Why would you say such hurtful words to me? I am not a witch. Then why are we locked up in this place? Mom, why are we locked up in this place? I don't know. I'll find out. You'll find out, Mom. I don't care if you know or if you don't. All I care is how long are we going to be locked up in this place? Can I help you? I am King Odera, the great king of Odunda Kingdom. King Odera, why are you dressed like this? Well, <clears throat> you, you, you won't understand, but you know, you know, it's not good for the great king to be dressed in his full regalia. Uh, looking for a beautiful damsel like you, so this is just a camouflage. You in search of someone? Yes, I'm in search of someone. I am in search of you. Me? Yeah, you. <laughs> Father, what have I done wrong to you? You, 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 you got to turn me out of the palace. No, Father, please. You and your mother are sorcerers. Witchcraft of different beings. Now, Malu, throw them out. Give me them. Sabonu, Father, throw them out. Father, forgive us. We are innocent, Father. You got to throw them out of the palace. Throw them out of it. Father, shut up. 
Done to my father. Where are we going to go? You have succeeded in ruining our lives. Mom. Mom why? Shut up. Where do we go to? Where do we live? All the days of my life, I've lived inside this house. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up and let me think something. Shut up! Let me find a solution to this. Shut up! Shut up! Be your mistress. If you want me, you have to make me your queen. Wow, well, is that what you want? Then consider it done. Yes. That's not all. I can't be your second wife. You have to drive away your first wife and son. If it's that, if that should be what you want. Then, I shall grant it. Good. I'll wait here tomorrow. Same time, same spot. All right, my queen. Molu! Oh, my king. My king. Finally back, my king. All thanks to the gods. If we live now, my king, we will be able to find the queen and the prince. What are you talking about? Who is talking about those witches and wizards? I am talking about my queen, Chima. 
My king, do you want to marry that lady? I can't wait. Let us go at once and bring her home. Now, go. Tell the girls and the maidens to prepare for the arrival of their new queen. My king, are you sure you want to do this? I've never been more certain about anything. Now, hurry up. Go and deliver my message to the girls and the maidens so that we will leave at once. As my king pleases, so shall it be. Now, I'll be happy. Malu here is my advisor and chief guard. Jesus is the chief of maids. Jesus, I hope you're not going to be biased. Why did you? May the gods forbid, my lady. I don't. My queen, Jesus will never do a thing. Jesus, you will take the queen to her room and give her the fitting clothes that fits her schedule. As my king pleases. Thank you. I am king, and my words are law. She is my queen, and that is final. <clears throat> my king, without due respect, how do you expect us to accept a, a queen we know nothing about, not even her background? My king, if you ask me, uh, I, I can say this is unheard of. I know everything. Everything I need to know about the queen. I know. Uh, what about the heir to the throne, Prince uh, Ibuki? I do not have any heir uh, yet. Uh, uh, you cannot say a thing like that. But Get you. Let me introduce you to my queen. Queen Shama. Hello, my elders. Thank you. I will greet you. I will greet you too. 
I am pleased to meet all of you. We, we are pleased to. <laughs> we are pleased to meet you. My king, I'll be inside. Join us. She will make a good queen. <coughs> she will make a good queen. Mm. I am glad that she met her. No wonder. I've never seen you this one before. You see, I'm very happy. And because of this, we shall be. I can't wear this. Chima, you have to wear this for your swear in tomorrow. After which you can start wearing your dark clothes. You know how much I hate colored dresses. Get me a dark shaded dress, please. Do you want people to know who you are? Please wear this for the celebration. If they know who I am, what will happen? Nothing. Okay, okay, fine. For peace to rain, just get me a dark scarf. Okay, my queen. Mm. So now you remember to call me your queen. Huh. That's better. Why did you ask me that question when we were taking it? Nothing really. I, I just don't want people knowing that we knew each other. <laughs> it was so funny. I've been able to stay here for years without anybody suspecting me. So, why would they not know? Jesus. Uh... You will be working in the palace as a maid to the queen to be. This is a substance. You will add that to their meals every time you serve them. It is meant to create bitterness between both of them. And you will ensure that the queen takes her pills that will prevent her from getting pregnant. Encourage her, ensure she does not get pregnant. Is that clear? Yes, my honor. One more thing. The princess Ndidi will be visiting the prince very soon. So you need to start work immediately. Not to worry. I have already informed them and everything is in place. Thank you, Honor. I promise not to disappoint you. <laughs> mm -hmm. My princess, please, what do I offer you? Um, a glass of juice would do. Does that? Cheese mm -hmm. <laughs> Cheese Your Highness. Get us two glasses. Cheese. Okay, sir. Apple juice, preferably. Okay, Thank you. Cheese mm -hmm. You heard it. Yes, my king. My princess, so tell me about you. <laughs> There's really nothing about me. You already know it all. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Tell me about your dislikes, your likes, whatever, I, whatever anyone will do to get you upset. I want to know.
that is all about me. How about you? <laughs> well, 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 well. I love sports. That's a fact. And I love dancing. You love dancing? I don't look it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> strange. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so, But we barely just started talking. So what? I have to leave now. I'm leaving. Excuse me. Did I say anything that offended you? Excuse me. My princess. Uh -huh. I was used as a tool to cause the first hatred among them. I also advised the queen to be using peers to avoid getting pregnant for the king. This worked for the first two years before the king found out about it. So, how come you didn't know when the queen got pregnant? First, I don't have powers like you. I'm just a human who do things in her own way. I guess the king figured out that I was the one backing up the queen. So he sent me out of the palace on an errand. But the queen did not demand for her pills, so I felt she was safe. I guess, um, <clears throat> I mean, Honorable Lucia must have been very, very angry with you. Anger was an understatement. He almost killed me. <laughs> but then he made me promise to stay here when he starts his second mission. So I stayed back in the palace, watching and waiting for you to come. And now that I'm here, <laughs> I will help you achieve your aim. So I can leave this place. Honorable told me that I could count on your support. I'm glad that it's true. Mm -hmm. Well, my lady, I beg to take my leave now. We we'll have a celebration to prepare for. Excuse me. You can go. I've been wondering and pondering the ambiguity and um, the cumbersomeness of the crime you committed in the palace that made the king to repatriate you with this uh, juvenile. It must have been a catastrophe in the palace. My father, the king, said I and my mother are wizards. Bunkum. I mean, total bunkum. I least expect such from a king with his high level of intellectuality and uh, credulous wisdom. How could he stoop so low to such a mythology? I mean, this is discomforting and discombobulating. I also think it's true. What more will I expect 
from an ignorant juvenile who is imprudent and injudicious. Thank you very much for allowing us to stay here in your house. <laughs> you are immensely welcome, my dear. I regard this as a loyalty to your father because of the way he treated me fairly years back. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yes. Thank you. you are immensely welcome once again. Feel at home. <laughs> this so. is like your home. <laughs> so, you're awake. was horrible. All because of you, Mom. All because of you! What do you mean, all because of you? I mean, you brought me to your den of witches, so I couldn't sleep. All because of their lives. I am not a witch. Then what are you, Mom? What are you? You better go back and beg my father. Tell him I am not a wizard. That it was a plan to separate me from my father. Okay. Do not say such hurtful words. Because it is the truth. It is the truth. So you better go ask your fellow witches how was your night and stop disturbing my soul. Mm. Don't hey, know where I'm going to. Hey, Bube. Hey, Bube, where are you going to? Hey, Bube. Hey. <laughs> Where could he have gone to? Where? Oh, great God of Odunda, save my son and protect him from any harm. He's all that I have now.
Please don't be like this. Please. I know you're very angry with me. But please forgive me. Please. I'm not only angry with you, Mom. I also don't like you. I hate you. Yes. I hate you, Mom. I hate you for destroying my life. Haven't you done enough? Mom, haven't you done enough? Please leave me alone. Please. Do you think if I have a solution to all these problems that I won't solve it? You think so? You feel that I'm happy that we have been thrown out? Is that what you feel, son? I guess you never, you never knew you would be exposed. <laughs> One question I keep asking myself. One good question I keep asking Ibube is, Mom, why did you drag me into this? Why did you drag me into this? Ibube. Have you stopped for a second to ask yourself that if it is not the same way you're being accused by your father, the king, that I'm being accused? Have you asked yourself, son? Have you? So this is why you dragged me into this. So this is why you dragged me into this, mom, so that I could be on your side. I hate you, Mom. I hate you so much. So please, don't talk to me again. My niece, I can see you are picking pumpkin. Very interesting. But it amazes me that a lady suffering from emotional distress still holds her quality as a woman. Because I know very well that you are suffering from declination, a clear case of declination from an area of anguishable authority subdued to a wimpy state. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, hurry up with the pumpkin and make sure that the meal comes out tasty. As you can see, I am not just famished. There is a volcanic erupting in my stomach and this meal is going to bring peace. So hurry up with it. Um, by the way, where is that um, juvenile? I mean, where is that unwise young lad of yours? He's inside. He has been very unhappy and hasn't eaten anything since. Enough of that. Because I know very well by the time this meal is done, you are going to wake him up or call him and invite him for the meal. Anyway, tell him that once the meal is done, we will jointly dismantle the meal together. Why do you 
you stay in this kind of place? I, I mean, if my grandparents had so much money as I thought. I mean, you should have money to afford a, a very better luxury than this. Hello? You are nothing but a bunkum. A total bunkum. There's a saying that goes this way. Ask if you don't know. Where is it written, stated, stamped, or described that acquisition should be kept for offsprings or coming generation, be it wealth acquisition or whatever? Can you tell me where it can be found? In the history books? Or any encyclopedia? Or dictionaries? If you have any idea, I mean, if you have any clue, let me know. That is why you are a total bunkum. Yes. Well, if you must know, your uncle lived a cool-headed life. I thought it wise not to be, you know, extravagant with my expenditure. I didn't live a flamboyant life. But I was investing my money on the less privileged. You know, those that needed help more than I do. <laughs> you can see. <laughs> that was how your uncle lived his life. <laughs> you know, boy, you know. <laughs> oh, wow. What's uncle? Is it this too small for a cut down? Sorry, I mean, if not that you give to the poor, uh, I, I would have said you are a miser. Hello, Adam. I mean, come again. Uh, well, uh, said, said repete. Me. That's what French call it. Repeat. Repete. Come again. Repeat. I would have said you are a miser. You are a total bunkum of the highest degree. Yes. This cozy house of mine. This is a cool home. In fact, this is what is called a bungalow. Bungalow. Repeat after me. Bungalow. The French call it repete. Repeat. Bungalow. Bungalow. Bungalow, bungalow, bungalow. That's good. That is a perfect description of this house. Bungalow. Um, Abube, Uncle, please eat your food silently. Both of you tend to speak English a lot, forgetting table manners. Please eat. You can discuss later. Hello. Do you realize that English language is a tonic of life? And by the way, I don't know from the angle you're coming from, I mean, your perception to tell me table manners. Can you tell me what table manners is, please? I'm sorry, Uncle. I'm sorry. Good. Well. Uncle. Thank you so much for cheering my son up. It's been quite a while I saw him or heard him discuss with anyone. Mm. Thank you. Well, let me first of all thank you for that um, delicious meal. But if it is regarding the juvenile, I think he is mentally balanced and uplifting to be discussing with someone like me, you know. <laughs> As literate as Messiah. I was thinking that he is mentally retarded initially. And um, I can see he is not in a state of idiosyncrasy. Yeah, yeah. If you say so, Uncle, once again, 
Thank you so much for your kindness. Mm. I'll be inside. Yeah, you are immensely and excessively welcome. <laughs> you may have your name. Oh, my emotionally displaced means. Wow. That meal was sumptuous. I think uh, if I will be having such a meal regularly, I'm going to add weight. Don't you think so? She's not the one that saved me yesterday. Then why is she running away? Hello? Yes, this one has it. What's that day? Welcome. Uh, where are you coming from all dressed up like this? thrown into a state of pack mire because of the news that is spreading like wildfire. I had to go out to confirm the authenticity of that news myself. News? What news? The inhuman nature of mankind is unfathomable and incomprehensive. Unbelievable. Permit me to say Bunkumness. Hmm. Uh, Uncle, I still don't understand. Really? Your Majesty, your former highly esteemed husband swore in another queen today. Yes. What? How is that possible? It's, it's just a day and two nights since we left. How could he have brought in another queen? Really? Bunkum. I mean, total bunkum. Hello? Does it mean your visual sense was insensitive before you were thrown out of the palace? Or does it, does it mean that your senses are rotating anti-clockwise? Or rather, malfunctioning? Hello? Let me make it clearer to you. Your uncle, I don't have the momentum or guts to fight this vicious war for you. What do I mean? I can't. How can I help you? 
can my husband, the king, bring in another queen? How could he do such a thing to me? How could he? I mean, how could my father? How could he do that? <laughs> it's not, it's not even up to just a day and two nights. And he brought in, huh, gods of our land. Gods of our land. Oh my, oh. I'm going to see my father immediately. Son, that wouldn't be a good idea. Let me be. I said, let me be. You are also the cause of this, so you have no right to tell me how to make my decision. Let the king Ebube. Out. Ebube, listen to me. Ebube! Let the juvenile be. Allow him to go and express his youthful ebullence. Oh. What a day. Hey. What a day. I'm sorry, my friends. I can't let you be. This is my father's house. So why would you let me in? I mean, I want to see my father. So let me in immediately. You have to wait. You have to wait, my friends. I can't go against your father's order. Now go in there and tell my father that I want to see him. Now go! I said go! I'll do just like you, Father. But I'm afraid you have to wait here first. Please. I love you like my forefathers loved our gods. <laughs> oh, one more thing. Just one thing. What? You call me your queen. Oh. Everyone calls me my queen. Why don't we try something different? A different thing. Hmm. Oh well. What about if I call you my sunshine? Would you like that? Mm -hmm. Why me sunshine? Because darkness, you know, disappeared ever since the first day that you walked into my life. And the day I leave your life? Well, darkness shall return, but that day will never come because I know you will never leave me. So, darkness will never come again. Yes, ma'am, Your Majesty. What is the problem? My king, I'm sorry. Prince Ebube is at the gate and has refused to leave. That boy. What does he want here? What is his problem? Um, my king, please allow him. Please let him in. Mm. I, I want to say him. No, no, no. Do not allow him. You know what? I'd rather go and see him. My king, he's your son. My sunshine, I appreciate your concern, but please, my love, stay away from this. Let me handle it. Now, mother, let's go and see you.
And what do you think you're doing here? Father, so it is true you're married to another woman. But was this how I and my mom meant to you? Did I not make it clear that for no reason would you ever step your dirty foot into this compound again? Now, get out. Get out! Okay, please. Calm down. Please. Prince, the situation here is complicated. The king is not a bad person here. I suggest you leave and give me some time to talk to the king, your father. Uh, I know you're a very good person, my queen. Uh, I, I want you to help me beg my father and tell him I'm not the bad person too. I'm not, I'm not, like, I'm not what he's thinking. Now, when the both of you quit talking as if I'm not here, I can see you like my wife. Thank you. But I do not want you to pollute her with your English pain. Now, go back to your mother. Malu, let's call him out. And for no reason, no reason, Charlie was stepping here again. Sunshine, you do not know them. The boy is worse than his mother. Worse? Worse. <laughs> King, that is too harsh. Well, I'm sorry, Sunshine, but that is the truth. My King, that doesn't stop the fact that he's still your boy. And we can imbibe our good culture on him. Sunshine, I appreciate your concern. Hmm? I truly, truly appreciate it. But I would prefer if only you can just forget about this case. Okay? Forget about it. I will handle it. You're welcome. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come Talk to me. Did you see your father? Or you didn't see him when you... What happened? Talk to me. Leave me alone. My father is happily married to another woman. And didn't care about me. All thanks to you, Mom. Thanks. So don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. I will really appreciate it if you stay away. It is completely evident from the aura emitting from his motion. Yes. I stand not to be corrected. 
Little did he know that his injudicious visit to the palace was interference. Yes, can be referred to as an act of interference. <laughs> Oh yeah, people fail to understand their boundaries. You must not exceed your boundaries. That is law. <laughs> My lady, why is the prince not allowed in the palace? Because the king chased him and his mother away. My lady, stop playing around. You know what I'm talking about. Okay. It will be easier for me to get what I want from the king if he doesn't see his family or remember them. My lady, you and I know that you can accomplish your mission even if they bring you here. That's true. But I can't do that easily. I need the king to love me a bit. With the love and the spell casted on him, everything will blend properly. Um, my lady, is that the only way you can get the truth from him? Yes, my dear Chisa. Do you think that Odunda didn't know that people can use spell to bring us such secrets from their kings? He knew. So if I do that, my spirit will be captured by Odunda. Yes. Hey. I never knew. I know. Don't worry, my dear. I know what I'm doing, okay? You see, the way I will not allow the king to have peace with his family is the same way I will not allow the prince to have peace with his mother. My lady, when will all this be over? I need my freedom. Soon, my dear. Soon. Mm -hmm. Patience. Mm -hmm. My lady. Okay. My lady, I have to go. Eh? Before the king returns, I have to go back. Thank you. you think you're doing here? Father, so it is true you're married to another woman. But was this how I and my mom meant to you? Did I not make it clear that for no reason would you ever step your dirty foot into this compound again? Now, get out. Get out! I can please. Calm down. Please. Prince, the situation here is complicated. The king is not a bad person here. I suggest you leave and give me some time to talk to the king, your father. Uh, I know you're a very good person, my queen. I, I want you to help me beg my father and tell him I'm not the bad person too. I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not what he's thinking. Now when the both of you quit talking as if I'm not here, I can see you like my wife. Thank you. But I do not want you to pollute her with your evilish pain. Now, go back to your mother. Don't go! You can be Malu! Escort him out. 
And for no reason, no reason, Charlie ever step in here again. My friend, please. the prince not allowed in the palace because the king chased him and his mother away my lady stop playing around you know what i'm talking about okay it will be easier for me to get what i want from the king if he doesn't see his family or remember them You and I know that you can accomplish your mission even if they bring you here. That's true. But I can't do that easily. I need the king to love me a bit. With the love and the spell casted on him, everything will blend properly. My lady, is that the only way you can get the truth from him? Yes, my dear Chisa. Do you think that Odun didn't know that people can use spell to bring us such secrets from their kings? He knew. So if I do that, my spirit will be captured by Odun. Yes. Hey. I never knew. I know. Don't worry, my dear. I know what I'm doing. Okay? You see, the way I will not allow the king to have peace with his family is the same way I will not allow the prince to have peace with his mother. My lady, when will all this be over? Eh? I need my freedom. Soon, my dear. Soon. Mm -hmm. Patience. Mm -hmm. My lady, okay. my lady, I have to go. Eh? Before the king returns, I have to go back. Thank you. Thinking. Thinking? About what? Why did you run out the other day? That definitely wasn't what you were thinking of. Tell me, I want to know. But it's what I'm thinking about right now. Well, because you are very strange to me. <laughs> did you just say I'm strange? Yes. What will you call someone who will swim alone, knowing he does not even know how to swim? And then, you are always sitting by the riverside alone, and in thought, just like now. So, to me, it's normal that I run for my dear life. Okay, I understand. But why did you save me? Because I know how to swim. I wanted to kill myself. What? Why? How bad was the situation that you wanted to take your own life? It's a long 
long story. And I really don't have that time to listen to your story. I need to fetch water for some people. Excuse me. But I could tell you later. Okay, later then. Oh, where, where, where can I find you if I? You met me here in this river, and you shall find me here in this river. Okay, let me. Can I come on? You have to be careful, that place is deep. Don't worry about me. I know my way here. Thank you, all the same. I can calm down and enjoy my services. I asked the maids to rest so I can serve you today. You know, all my life I did justice to a whole lot of fruits. But this one, this one, up here special. Really? Yeah. Mm. Mm. In that case, my honey, henceforth, I'll be the one preparing your food, your fruits, anything that will go into this your pretty stomach. Yes. Wow. Wow. <coughs> you know, I never thought that a beautiful and um, classy woman like you could get into the kitchen and do some cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, you make me blush. <laughs> you know, beautiful woman is useless to her husband if she can cook. Yes, because beauty fades. But if she can cook, even when the beauty fades, she'll make sure that her husband's stomach is always on point. On point? Yes. On point? What, a, what, what wonderful words. From a beauty to wise woman. So tell me, where did you get that one from? From my goddess, my grandmother. Really? Yeah. Where is she now? She. She's dead. But her legacy and impact is still with me. You know, whatever she is, you know, she's resting in the bosom of the gods. Believe me. And she, she, she thought you well. And I'm very sure that she'll be so proud of you. you know, because the words you just spoke give me hope. Whenever you can enter my kitchen and make me good food, I will go there. Let me feed you, my honey. Okay. There you go, there you go. Oh, I, my leg! My leg! This is your problem. Oh my days. I slipped my legs. I broke my legs. Yeah. He's spelling me. 
I thought you'd come back immediately. Yes, I was supposed to, but other things came up, so I had to do that. Wait, you mean you have been here waiting for me since morning? It looks strange, right? Yes, it's strange. But what if I didn't come back? What would you have done? Then I will come back tomorrow. <laughs> You're not serious. <laughs> Do you have friends at all? Mm. I never had the opportunities to make friends. Do you go to school? No, for now, but I used to. And you? I have never had the opportunity or privilege to go to school. Why? I, I mean, you, you speak well. Yes, because I'm a girl who learns fast. Oh, it's a long story and I don't really have the time to talk about it now. So let's work together. <laughs> I can't work with you. I can't. I don't like working with the opposite sex, especially the strange ones, which is you. <laughs> okay, so when will I see you again? Mm, next tomorrow evening will be fine by me. Yes. Okay, I'll wait for you. <laughs> I hope you will sit here waiting for me. <laughs> What are you excited about? Oh. Please. Leave me alone. I'm in a very good mood now and we appreciate if you don't spoil it. Oh, please. Mom. Is there anything for me to eat? As you can see, I'm actually hungry. Uh -uh. You are hungry? Yes. Okay, what would you like to eat? 
anything safe. Bitter leaf soup and uh, apple. It's perfect. Oh, I'll be back. <laughs> My sunshine, you know, I truly, truly love you. Honestly. Honestly. You know, you don't actually feel that way from the bottom of your heart. Something in you is actually making you feel that way. Come on. I do not understand. What what do you mean? I mean, what are you saying? It's nothing. I just feel that you're excited because I'm still new. Carbon. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. no. I see, uh, my sunshine. I've never really felt like this for anybody. For anyone. Honestly, in my whole life. I must confess that for the first time I love. King Odera is truly in love. I am. Of course you have it. Because I have a very strong influence on you. But... Oh Sunshine, why? Why are you doubting my love? I'm not doubting any love for me, sweetheart. I only say that I'm making it real. Oh, come on. Mm. You make me so happy. Sunshine. Oh, get up. Good morning. Um, good morning. Breakfast is ready. Oh, oh nice, yes, so sweet. <laughs> Thank you. Let's break it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Feed me. Presume you find it difficult making, you know, a good choice amongst the bunch of clothes that you have in there. Let me make that choice. For you. I like this one. I like. Yes, it's beautiful. You see my choice. I like this one more. This will be so nice on you. I don't like it. Now check it out. He blessed with your color. Hmm? Come on, my dear. Go and wear this one. Hmm? Go ahead. You will look beautiful.
My sunshine, you, you you look good, your dress is good, but I think you need to remove... No, I don't think you need the black top. Don't! My love, why don't you go in there and then remove this one? Everything is okay, okay? exactly what I'm doing. You know the king has to have an equal amount of love for me to get the staff and not die. <laughs> I th when did you start caring about leaving? I thought all you wanted was me rewarding you by creating a community named after you where you're kind and a king would live. It's true, I never cared about it either. But after meeting the king, I suddenly cared about living. Finding love, I also want to have my own family. I will get you the stamp of authority, but I also want to be <laughs> Leave you will, but you have seven days. Seven days to get me that stamp of authority, or you will force me to use an alternative means. And honestly, that alternative means will not favor you. <laughs> Honorable, you don't threaten Chima because I know no fear. Seven days, you see. See? <laughs> Majesty, do 
Do you love her that much? Oh, my love. I adore her. She's so lovable. She's so lovable. Mm. She makes I, me happy. Yes. I agree with you, Your Majesty. I agree with you when you say she's lovable. You know, she is so perfect that sometimes I wonder how a woman can be that perfect. I must tell you, Your Majesty, everyone in the palace is pleased with her. Oh, Madam. I must confess that I am so fortunate. I am the most fortunate king. And I shall remain so long as my sunshine stays by my side. Joy and so much more joy, everlasting joy, is my portion. Yes, my king. Mm. Malu, my king. You know what? Tonight we shall marry. Tonight we shall drink and enjoy ourselves. You know. Tell the gods and the maidens as you go out to do, to do, to, to marry, to drink. Tonight we shall paint the skies with different colors of fireworks. My sunshine has made everything possible. Mm. I must confess, my king, I'm happy. I'm happy that my king is happy once again. Mm. I know what it means when you say we have to marry. I go now to get ready. Manu, I think right away let us go and drink. Long live my king. Manu, we are together. You are a great friend. Thank you. I must confess that the gods must have sent you to be by my side. Oh my king. You are a good man. Thank you sir. Let's go and drink. Mary. Let's go. Sent for me, my lady. <laughs> 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 little brat. The last time you report me to Honorable Lucia, you'll be a dead person. Now get out! <laughs> Thanks for making time to come see me. I'm really happy. No problems. So tell me why you wanted to kill yourself. Like I said, it's a long story. But I'll summarize it now. I had a perfect family. Till my mom decided to kill my dad with her witchcraft. My dad found out and threw us out of the house. Got married to another woman. So, if your mom was the witch, why did your dad throw you out alongside? Yeah, because my dad believes my mom bewitched me also. Tell me, do you believe your mom is a witch? What can I say? Of course I believe because she also tried to kill me sometimes in my dream. But she tries to kill you in your dreams and not physical? Yes. So, do you stay with your mom? Yes, I do. We stay in my uncle's house. You stay with your mom? You eat her food? Yet she has not killed you. And you said she's a witch. How can she when 
all she wanted was to kill the man she loved so that she could have all this wealth and now that he's happily married to another woman I'm all she got so why would she kill me? How old are you now? That she did not kill your dad when you're much younger and she now wanted to do that now your day is grown to me it is not making sense at all to me this does not make sense in any way i think maybe she wanted me to grow up to the state because she knows she can't train me alone and now that i'm grown up eh? ma enough of these questions enough of these questions my mom is not what you are thinking she is. Don't you think you are misjudging your mom? Ma, enough of this question. Enough! My mom is a witch. I mean, she's not that good woman you are thinking of her to be. Please! Are you angry with me? I have to take my leave now. I'm just being concerned here. I'm just being concerned about you and your family. I don't need you. I don't need your consent. Isn't this confusing? The new queen is such a wonderful person that I think is nice and good for the king. But on the other hand, I still feel I'm betraying Queen Ndidi and the prince. I really do not like her. Eh? She may be nice to everybody, but to me, she's a pretender. You might be right. But time alone can tell if she's actually a pretender. Malu, I know it to my bones that she's a pretender. Eh? I know it. But since I can't convince anyone, what will I do? I'd rather keep it to myself. Hmm. Someone is missing Queen Ndidi. <laughs> Are you not? Eh? Are you not missing her? Eh? We have known her for years. Of course I'm missing her. That is where I'm also confused. <laughs> but I pray that the new queen is pretending. If she is, posterity will definitely catch up with her. It sure will. It sure will, Malo. Uh, Malo, let me go and attend to what I okay. okay. Please forgive me for what happened yesterday, please. It was so, please, so much, Marie, now you can't do this to me now, please. Please forgive me. It won't happen again, I promise, I promise. Ebube, I'm really busy. As you can see, I have people to work for. So please, leave me alone. Let me go. Ma, 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 no, 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 no. Let's talk. Let's talk. Yeah. Let's talk. I will help you. I will help you with everything you want to do. Please forgive me. Please. Let's talk. No, thank you. I have to walk ma, now. Ma, ma, you don't have to do this to me now. Please now. Ma. Into. To fetch water, of course. Or what does it look like in your eyes? <laughs> it's surprising. I have never seen you with a gallon not to talk of fetching water with it here. Oh, that's because we have a tap where we fetch from, so I don't need to come here and fetch water. Why then do you want to fetch water from the stream? Mm, I want to help you so that we can talk. 
help me. Yeah. <clears throat> but I thought you were angry with me. Mm, that was before, not anymore. <laughs> You're not serious. <laughs> so, can we do your work now? Like, can I help you? Are you sure about this? Sure, I am. <clears throat> okay, let's go. But I don't want you to complain about being tired, though. I won't listen to you. I know why I'm saying no, this. No, 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 I won't, I won't. Of course, if you can, yes, I can. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Let me, let me drop this in the Go! I'm precious. Yeah, I thought you said you can do it. <laughs> to do this now. Oh my god. Back in the days we used to do this. So you even know how to fold your trousers? Yeah sure. Okay. So, um I don't think this here. Yes, I'll come back for it when we are done with yours. So tell me, why do you like coming here so much? Mm, because it's peaceful, quiet, and full of nature. And aside that, I like to see your face. Because this is the only place I come and see you. You see, my visit to this place become more frequent and regular after you saved my life. So. I come in here. Is that how much you wanted to be away from your mother? You know? I really wish... I really wish my mother was around. And the only problem would be that she might be a witch. Or that my dad is still alive. And the only problem would be that He's married to another woman. It's okay. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Stop crying. It's okay. It's okay. What yeah. happened to your parents? They were poisoned. So they died. I was accused of being the witch that killed them. So I was thrown out. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Why? I don't understand. From what I've heard, from what you've told me, you knew nothing about it. So why will you, why, why will people be this childish and do, do things like this? It's okay, it's okay, ma. It's okay, it's okay. Yes, I knew nothing about it. Just like your mother. I was accused wrongly. Ma, leave my mom out of this. I said, leave my mom out of this. So, this is the reason why you do house chores for people and work on their farm. I mean, you do work like a man. Yes, it will be. I think your mother is suffering from all this accusation. Wait a minute. Have you stopped to raise it? Have you stopped to raise at all? Your mother who gave you a perfect life suddenly decided to ruin your family. And then your father marries another woman. Just two days after we left. Just imagine. Ebube. You really need to support your mother. She's suffering a lot and you're adding to it. Yes. Okay? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. You have to stop crying now. You have to stop crying. Don't worry about that, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm sorry for all the pains I've caused you. I felt bad for what happened. But still, I have no right to hurt your feelings. Please forgive me more. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Forgive you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was not your fault. I forgive you. I forgive you. I'm sorry. I forgive you. I forgive you. I forgive you. <laughs> your seven days is up. And I still do not have the staff. Where is the staff? Honorable. Give me some more time. Are you saying the king has not fallen in love with you yet? He just started. Not enough. Do you know how much I have waited to lay my hands on the staff. Do you have any idea of how long I have been waiting to be the king of Odunda? Do you know what I have done to lay my hands on that staff? I want to get the staff in the safest way possible. <laughs> Falling in love with a king, aren't you? Honorable, do I look stupid to you? Oh, you sure do. <laughs> I think I was bored, so I went on a stroll. But you should have informed me. My king, you worry too much. What, what did you just call me? Your king? Is that what you call me now? What happened to, to, to oh, honey? I'm sorry, honey. I just want to remind you that you're the king. And you shouldn't be seen walking around with me. But you know I do not care. I know. And that's because you love me so much. Right? Yes. You know, I, I love you. I love you so much. You chased away your first wife because she's a witch. Yes. And I don't ever want to see her anymore. Not again. So you, you don't have to worry. What if I'm a witch? I know you're not a witch. No, 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 let's just... Like, if, if I'm a witch, like, 
Let's say I'm a witch. Even if you're a witch, I will forgive you because you have been 100% all through joy to me. So, it wouldn't matter. Really? But wait a minute. Uh, Sunshine, why, why all these questions? Just please inform me next time you are going to stroll. We can we can do that together. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. One more thing. If the king doesn't love her, then you will die in her body. Are you sure? The king loves her. Yes, my king. He loves her very much. That's why she doesn't want to collect the staff because she knows that the king could die. Why would she betray me like this? is the problem. You look worried. I want to ask you something. Why not? Go ahead. Feel free. Ask me anything. I want you to swear by the throne that you're going to answer me. Is it that serious? Why must I swear? Please, I need you to swear, please. <sighs> All right. I swear by my throne that whatever question that you bring up, I will answer it. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. King, please come with me. This honorable, don't hurt the king. So now. You admit you have been protected again. Well, it's too late. I have sent Jesus to do the work on your behalf. The king. The king will never tell Jesus the secret. Even with his spell. <laughs> True. And that's why I am using your body to make Jesus accomplish the mission. What? <laughs> Just the same way you manipulated Queen and Didi, the prince and the king in their dreams. That is the same way I'm going to use your body to manipulate the king. <laughs> Honorable, please don't hurt the king. Please. Too late, my dear. Jesus is already on her way to accomplish the mission. <laughs> He gave me the wrong way. But please, Grandma, for the last time, let me save the king in exchange.
for my life. Grandma, please! My king, please swear with this throne that you are going to tell me the truth. My oh, queen, I already told you in the room that I will swear by my throne. I swear by my throne, I will tell you the truth. My king, I want you to tell me where the staff of authority is. Why would you ask a question like that? If you don't tell me, they will kill me. They have already poisoned me. And if you don't tell me where the staff of authority is, they will kill me. Poisoned you? Who poisoned you? I don't know. My king, please tell me. I'm sorry, my queen, but if I tell you, then I shall die. And if you don't, I will die. So, if I tell you, then you'll be fine. Yes, I do. Well, Queen. You see, I, I, I love you. I, I don't want you to die. So, I will tell you. Thank you, my king. So, my king. The staff of authority is hidden in... Me, my king, don't listen to her. She is the fake one. You know me very well, my king. My king, just go ahead and tell me where the staff of authority is. My king, don't tell her anything. My king, don't listen to her. I'm the virgin. Talk to me. Tell me where is the staff. What is going on here? Which of you is my real son? Me! Me! Jesus! What is the meaning of this? My king, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. How dare you! Guys! Guys! My king! No need. Calling on the guy. I will take care of her. She's already a dead meat. You are now free from the lost spell I casted on you. Please, go and bring back your wife and son. They are innocent. It was all my making. Shama! No. No.
didn't find out. Honorable. All I want to do now is to live here and regain my freedom. <laughs> you have done very well. You may go. I will give you your reward when the palace becomes mine. <laughs> I also have something for you. Take it. What are you going to do with that? I'm going to a farm with Inma. I promise to help her today. Well, you don't know how to use that. <laughs> of course, mom. There's always the first time, so I will learn. You really do like that? Oh, yes. I like her. Okay, don't worry. When everything is okay, we will take her away from poverty. Even if everything is not okay, I will continue helping her in the little way I can. That's so good of you, son. Thanks, Mom. And, Mom, you're the best mom ever. <laughs> Be careful. Okay, Mom. What? How did you know I was here? Oh, you are surprised to see me in your house, right? Well, I followed you yesterday and I saw you entering this compound. Oh. So, I went back to my home. That's good, that's good. Good morning, ma. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, ma. How is your family? Um, mom, my lost her family. Oh. oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. It's okay, mom. So, how do you know my son? <laughs> uh, 
I usually see him at his train. So we started talking from there. He's just my friend. Uh, mm, Mom, um, you already know Ma, but I should say it again. Huh? She's Ma. Uh, she, she actually saved me. The other day I was trying to drown myself. She made me realize what I was missing, quarreling with you. She's a You were trying to drown yourself. And she saved you. Come here. Come here, my daughter. Come here. Thank you so much. The gods bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Mom? Where is Uncle Bara? He traveled to see his family. Oh. He said, your physical presence in my domain is a constant tormenting and mesmerizing acute reminder that I have a family to see. And so he traveled. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Mom? <laughs> Even you? Let's <laughs> oh, go in. My dear, come. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. Come in, my dear. Come. Come in. Come in. My king, you have mourned her majesty for a while now. I feel it's time you bring her back with the prince. Tell me, ma'am. How on earth will I face my wife and my son? How? Your Majesty, my King, trust me, they will understand. Especially her Majesty. So, Mali, when do you think is the best time to go? Your Majesty, as soon as possible. You are the king. No one kinds you. Why? Oh, that's because she didn't ask. You are now a member of this family. That makes you a princess also. <laughs> thank, so. thank you, my boy. Shall thank, I? thank you. Thank you. 